Hi, I'm Jesse. Thanks for pressing play on this video. Today we're talking about a movie that's coming up very quickly for Marvel's MCU Phase 4. It's been talked about in the news recently a couple times for a couple different reasons. I'm talking about the Eternals. Kevin Feige has mentioned it a couple different times. He said this about uh, specifically Jack Kirby, who created the Eternals back in the 70s. Jack Kirby did an immense, amazing epic with Eternals that spans tens of thousands of years. And that's also something we haven't really done, which is why that, among many other things, post-Endgame, we find appealing. He's also gone on record to say that they really want to do ensemble cast films, something big like the Eternals, a la Guardians of the Galaxy. So these team titles and these ensemble cast comic book titles are what they're leaning towards, like the Thunderbolts, like the Young Avengers, like the X-Men, and the Eternals. So what are the Eternals? I think most people would uh, be asking that question when they see the announcement for this film. So let me tell you, kind of high level quickly who they are. At the dawn of mankind, there was this ancient race of cosmic beings. They were called the Celestials. They came to Earth, they found Earth, Nezar was one of them, and decided to do some genetic manipulation on proto-humans. Through that genetic manipulation, it granted these proto-humans these immense uh, powers, immortality, uh, immunity, they could have uh, manipulation of various elements, and they became the Eternals. They did this on other planets as well. Some of them went off to a different planet, one of which was Titan. So the Titans are an offshoot of the Eternals for that very reason, and also their namesake was the moon that they lived on of Titan. There was another sort of counterpoint. They were the cousins to the Eternals, who were the, the more evil side, the dark and twisted, the genetically manipulated, physically and they were called the Deviants. Those were the bad ones. And then others yet were affected by this genetic manipulation. They didn't become Eternals per se, but their genetic coding was embedded with an X gene, which eventually evolved into the mutant race we first saw from Apocalypse in ancient Egypt. And this story of the Eternals is kind of about that time period itself. It's set millions of years ago when these Celestials came down, when they did all their experiments. They will talk about the Deviants in the film, how the two groups, the Eternals and the Deviants, went to battle each other throughout different points in history. And through that, the story in the movie will revolve around two characters. And it's a love story between Icarus, who is fueled by this cosmic energy, and Circe, who really, and the quote is, who relishes moving amongst humans. We also know that Matt and Ryan Furpo are the ones who wrote the screenplay for this, and Chloe Zhao is the director. They tapped her for it. So let's talk about when this movie might come out. So there's a couple interesting points here to make. There's been a leak out there that this movie will start filming in August of 2019, so it could very likely hit post and be ready for a November 2020 release date. I do want to say if you look at the U.S. Patent Office and the names that they try to patent ahead of time, you have these hernals as one of the first. You also have Shang-Chi and a couple of the Hulu elements as well. Spirits of Vengeance, Ghost Rider, Glyph, a bunch of others, and that's a really good indication that they're going to be ramping that up really soon. All of that's in the patent office. There's also a really strong connection. Black Widow is filming right now. That's going to be ready for the May 2020 release date. One of the Eternals is a character named Druig. Druig, in his human form, was actually an operative for the KGB, which if you know the history of Black Widow, she was working for the KGB. If this follows her story, you could follow her through the FSB maybe that adaptation there. And Druig could be a lead-in, an introduction to the Eternals through Black Widow in May of 2020. And then at the end of the year, we actually get the movie, The Eternals. And I'll tell you who I think might be cast as Druig uh, when we get to that in a moment. But Druig will reportedly be the antagonist for this film. There are some rumors that point to Keanu Reeves actually being the main antagonist and being cast for the Eternals. But our friends over in Lords of the Longbox say that yes, he is in negotiations, but for something else, not for the Eternals. However, if he was cast, I would say he would make a great Druig. We also have confirmed Angelina Jolie, who will play Cersei in the focus of this film. That's confirmed. Richard Madden is on board. I would say he's going to be Icarus, who will be the love interest for Cersei, for Angelina Jolie. We also have Madang Sok cast as well. The rumor is that he will play Zorus, who's Thena's brother, which is another one of the Eternals. Kumail Nanjiani is also cast. He was cast really early. So Angelina, Richard Madden, and Kumail were the first three cast announcements. When this movie was first announced, there were three characters announced. Cersei, Icarus, and Druig. Kumail has that uh, kind of look that would match Druig. So I believe not Keanu Reeves, but Kumail Nanjiani will be Druig. 
It's also rumored that we'll get to see young Thanos and his brother Star Fox in this film as well. Josh Rowland might reprise his role. That would, of course, be voice acting part. There's a rumor out there that uh, Charlie Hunnam is going to be Arrow Star Fox. And I've also heard Charlize Theron as being cast as Thena. Again, that's all rumored. The one that we really know for sure right now is Angelina Jolie. But we do have Madden, Ma Dong, and Najiani confirmed unannounced, but I think I told you who they'll probably be. We also need to have have Hercules, the forgotten one. Unimind is kind of like this AI, but I believe they'll probably do something like they did with Ego, as well as what they did with the Supreme Intelligence. So they'll humanize that. They'll probably pick somebody up. Kronos, Ajax, Makari, who's a really fast like sprinter. And then Sprite is basically like a young boy. So if you see those casting announcements for the movie, you kind of know who can fit in what. So that's basically all we know at this point, which is the beginning of June 2019. I just want to make that uh, marker depending on when you're listening to this. So let's continue this conversation in the comments below. Have you learned anything new or something else to this? Uh, let me know that in the comments. If you are watching this later and something has been announced, go ahead and let me know that as well. I'd love to talk with you guys about that some more. If you enjoy videos like this, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We do upload new comic book superhero, film, anime content every week, as well as a weekly live show on Thursday evenings. But that's it. This is all about the Eternals and what we know so far. I'm Jesse. This is JLS Comics, and I'll see you soon.